congratulations on a great game. You know, Brooklyn refused to go away in this game. You guys went up by 18 in the third. They came back. You know, what did you guys have to do to kind of bear down and grind this one out? We just had to keep our composure and stay in the game and keep hustling, pushing the ball, not playing their game, but playing ours. You know, you've been down this road before with Brooklyn. You've been up at halftime. They came back at the Sports and Rec Center, but you had built up a big lead. At their place, they came back in the fourth. What did you guys discuss at halftime to make sure you guys stayed up? We just continued to play our game. We can't worry about the other team. They have to worry about us. And we just kept pushing the ball, listening to what Coach told us to do, followed instructions, and played as a team. And it seems like this whole tournament's been about defense. You've been holding teams to, you know, 23 points at halftime, 18 points tonight. Tell me a little bit about how this team wins first with defense. We always play defense first. We hustle the all balls. Right. We're on the floor. Defense comes first. Defense wins games. So that's what we try to focus on to get the win. So Angelique, you know, uh, uh, nobody on this team before has won a championship. You've got your first taste. Now you're going to Nationals. How are you feeling right now, and what are you looking forward to next week come NCAA time? It feels great because Coach pushes us hard, and we play, we play for him, we play for as a team. We just try to keep him happy. Okay. Angelique, thank you so much, and congratulations on the great win. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Sam Flecker, um, exceptional game, came right down to the wire, you guys pulled it out. First and foremost, tell me how does it feel to be a CUNY champ? Okay, I'm speechless. The first thing our coach said was like, how the hell did it happen? And man, it feels incredible. I said the first thing I said when we came in, me and Chrissy both said, this is for Timmy, because he deserves it more than anybody in this conference, and I'm very happy that we can give it to him. And let me ask you, you guys, you know, held Brooklyn to just 18 points in the first half. Very defensive game. Both teams didn't shoot particularly well in the first half. But tell me what you guys were doing well defensively to keep them off the scoreboard. Pretty much boxing out, not letting them get the second chances. Because that's what killed us last time in the fourth quarter when we lost to them. We just gave them every chance opportunity they got. And then just keeping them off the board it's really helped us in the long run, especially giving them, like, stop them from getting extra points and us contributing on those stops. And, and Brooklyn came back in the second half, you know, really made it tight. They put the lead down to four points. And there was some really long delays, especially yeah. third quarter. Did that affect you guys? Did that break up momentum a little bit? I mean, every our game is running. And the other team, like, to get tired and to get, like, to, like tiresome and everything. With us, it's like, go, 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 go. But then just doing the media timeouts and everything, it, like, takes our, like, game away. But to be honest with you, it didn't affect us at all. Okay, so Sam, you got your first taste of a championship. Up next is a national championship tournament. Tell me what your expectations are once you get to the big stage. I don't know what to expect. I'm just focusing right now on this moment, and it's incredible. Like, when we get there, we get there. We'll see how far that takes us. Our first NCAA is in ten, over 10 years, and it's an incredible experience, and I hope to experience more of it. All right, congratulations. Enjoy it. Thank you. Christina Passatoro, tournament MVP. You guys really had to grind this one out. You held Brooklyn to just 18 points in the first half. What were you guys doing well to keep them off the scoreboard? Just being aggressive, boxing out was key, not giving them second chance opportunities. You know, they're a tough team. They're a lot bigger than us, so it was just important to get those offensive and defensive rebounds. All right, and you know, you had a big game against Lehman. You followed up by breaking the school's single season scoring record. I don't know if you're even aware of it, but tremendous accomplishment, Christina, and it's a punctuation mark on a great season. Can you categorize what this season has meant to you personally? I mean, all the personal accolades are awesome, but they wouldn't have really mattered without a championship. I mean, this just caps it all off. It's 20 times better than any personal achievement by far, and I, I can't even explain the feeling of finally right. getting a championship. And in that fourth quarter, Christina, you guys had to reach back and find something extra. Brooklyn was putting enormous pressure on you. They cut the lead to four. And lo and behold, you guys were able to, to you know, weather the storm and pull it out. What were the things that you guys needed to do with those last few minutes to seal this thing out? We just had to, keeping our composure was really important because we had a lead, even though it wasn't big. It was going to come down. They, they, were, they were the ones who needed to catch up. So we just needed to get stops. That was the most important. If we stopped them the rest of the game, we still had the lead. So just keeping our composure. Christina, you're a, a, a CUNY champion. Up next is Nationals. What are your expectations for the big stage? Well, I can't wait. I want to have fun, but it'd be great to go as far as possible. We're definitely going to try and compete our hardest. All right, terrific. Congratulations again. Thank you.
Hi, Tim. First and foremost, congratulations on the CUNY Championship. It's the college's first in over a decade. Tell me a little bit about what you guys had to do to grind this one out against a tough program. We didn't do anything. We didn't do different all year, Dave. It wasn't like I came in with the new game plan or the girls. We said, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I told them, if we, out, if we rebound them, box them out, stay close on the boards, overplay their shooters, get out, all the basics that I've been teaching them, a lot of things came to fruition in the last few days, especially this past week. It was a great it was a great time for us to beat. Yeah. Seems like all tournament long, one of the calling cards of this team has been defense, especially in the first half. You held the potent Lehman team to 23 at half. A couple days ago, you held Brooklyn to just 18 in the first half. What are some of the things that this team is doing well defensively that, that that's making a difference. They're, they're buying into just doing, like I said, the little things about boxing out, overplaying shooters. We know to take certain people out of the game as best possible. I can't speak high enough about Victoria Gray. Because in the last two games, she took one of the top scorers in the country out. And tonight, Karen Mack is a, a real catalyst for Brooklyn. And I told her yesterday, you're covering her, she doesn't see the ball, make her life difficult. And I just tell all of them, make their lives difficult. We're undersized, outplay them, out hustle them, beat them, turn me loose ball, because they're going to try to do that to you. And you know what, Dave? They did it. I'm proud of you. And you know what, Tim? Final thought. Um, you know, this is a different game than most games. There's a thousand people here, plus these long delays with television timeouts. How do you think the girls really responded to those changes? And did they, you know... Did I, initially, I was concerned because it was aggravating me also. And, but then after a while, 